There has been a, a shift, a recent shift in the medical community when it comes to identifying and treating obesity as a disease. New drugs are receiving FDA approval for weight loss while others are used off-label. The popularity of those drugs on social media and in clinics is soaring and many are receiving help they need. But with inadequate supplies available, some people face a shortage in vital medication. Our Stephanie Ramos has a look. It's the prescription with that catchy tune. Oh. 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 On the market since 2017, the FDA-approved drug for managing type 2 diabetes is soaring to newfound fame as word spreads over one particular side effect, potential weight loss. Its active component, semaglutide, has also been FDA-approved for treating obesity under a different dosage and brand name, Wigovi. It's here. On TikTok, videos with the hashtag Ozempic have received at least 382 million views. Users like Alyssa Clayton documenting her journey, praising the drug's results. I wanted something that was non-invasive. Being pre-diabetic, that's scary for me. I mean, if I'm 60 pounds lighter now than I was a year ago, I, I feel like that has increased the quality of my life and hopefully the length of my life. While there's been speculation of celebrities who are neither obese nor have type 2 diabetes using the drug as a quick way to shed a few pesky pounds, for some, even those who don't have diabetes, the results may be life-changing. I was able to fit into a gene size that I was my senior year of high school. I have not seen that size in 12 years. 31-year-old Emily Klassen of Fort Wayne, Indiana, started taking Ozempic in August of 2021. How were you first introduced to Ozempic? My best friend, Carla, she uh, works right beside me at work. She came to me and she said, hey, I know you're struggling. I really want to help you. So please don't take this offensively, but, but I might have found something that could work for you. So I looked into it, and by the end of the day, my doctor prescribed the medication to me. She's since switched to a similar drug, Manjaro. In almost a year and a half, she tells me she lost 120 pounds. How do you feel? What has... What has that journey been like for you? I can remember when I first lost 20 pounds. I cried. <laughs> I literally cried because I have never lost that much weight. Ozempic is one of several drugs of its kind now on the market. Options like Saxenda, Ribelsis, Trulicity. All of this part of a paradigm shift from the medical community. The realization that just diet and exercise alone may not always be enough to treat obesity. When used alongside diet and exercise, Ozempic and Wegovy's active ingredient, semaglutide, encourages the pancreas to produce more insulin to better manage blood sugar and among its other benefits, like reducing cardiovascular disease risk. Semaglutide also decreases appetite and food cravings and increases the feeling of fullness after meals. Emily documents her journey on TikTok. It's really nice to get to the point that I have to make myself eat. I am able to make consciously healthy choices now, where before I ate out of compulsion. While Emily is not a person with type 2 diabetes, she's one of many like her whose doctor initially prescribed Ozempic off-label as a way to lose weight. I do get people who leave some hate about taking this medication not as a diabetic. So I checked, you weren't my doctor, and you weren't the one telling me that I needed to lose weight or I was going to die. In a statement to ABC News, Novo Nordisk, the company that sells Ozempic, says Novo Nordisk does not promote, suggest, or encourage off-label use of our medicines. We trust that healthcare providers are evaluating a patient's individual needs and determining which medicine is right for that particular patient. There are currently two similar medications FDA approved for weight loss in obesity, Wegovy and Saxenda, with a third being investigated and may receive approval later this year, Manjaro. Currently, it's approved, but for type 2 diabetes, not the weight loss. Dr. Fatima Stanford, an obesity medication physician, says the drugs are so popular, there is a shortage. If we look at a Camry, you can go and buy a black Camry or you buy a red Camry. That's the difference in you picking Ozempic over Wagovi. What we have found with a lot of these medications um, is that there has been a national shortage of this entire class of medications, particularly the once weekly injections. Um, and so there have been several instances where patients that meet criteria for Wagovi 
maybe on Ozempic, um, and then even vice versa. Novo Nordisk tells us the shortage has been, quote, due to the combination of incredible demand coupled with overall global supply constraints. Drug maker Eli Lilly, which makes Manjaro, faces a shortage as well. For any of those Hollywood A-listers that might be listening that may be using these inappropriately, I want you to think about what you want. If this was your sister, brother, mother, cousin, etc., would you want them not to get medication just because you want it to look a certain way instead of improving the health of others? 39-year-old Jeremy Mitchell, a father of three from El Dorado, Kansas, says he's struggled to fill his prescription for Ozempic and was forced to switch to a daily pill form. I'm at risk every day that my blood sugars stay high for long-term damage to my body, long-term damage to my cells, to my eyesight, uh, to my blood vessels, uh, and diabetics struggle with fighting off infections. By the time my father died last month, he was double amputee, uh, and he'd had diabetes for about 12 years. So I do have some frustration when there's a shortage uh, for people that need that drug to treat a potentially chronic, deadly medical condition, not being able to get a hold of that. These medications are prescription only, and while they can help many people, they still come with a risk of side effects that should be discussed with a physician. The most common are gastrointestinal, like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and changes in bowel habits. According to the CDC, nearly 42% of Americans live with obesity, but relatively few are on these medications. As for Emily, whether she stays on Manjaro long term or not, she believes she's living her best life right now. I didn't know I had this type of confidence in me. Um, before I started losing weight, I didn't even like to walk into my local Walmart, my local mall, because I would see my reflection. I'm not afraid of my reflection anymore. I'm not afraid to look in the mirror anymore. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.